Hey, what's up guys, Daipe here and welcome into Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This is the brand new version of After Effects, it's out today and it has some really good new features and lots of improvements. So um, I'm gonna make you a, a quick overview on what I really like in the new features, how I use them and yeah, what we really need for our VG work and even motion design work. So let's start with the most important and amazing new feature. They totally reworked the previous system and now it's uh, it make a preview. You don't need to go to the RAM preview. It, you can do it directly here just by pushing the space bar. It works much more faster. I mean, this is a, uh, this computer is something like four years old and are uh, just uh, reading uh, a really full HD, really heavy file. And he does it pretty much in real time. And once he's finished, um, all the stuff, he just push in the memory, he, he is able to read the audio with it. So this is like the RAM preview you had before, but it works much more faster and you have it here so you can see and you can modify some stuff. I mean, if I add a U and saturation to it, oh, maybe just gonna show you the audio. So now I can, if I play this again, I have audio with it. Think I can fly. Think I can fly. So this work much more faster and this will help you to, lo to, 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 to win a lot of time uh, when you work something that works with audio just to be sure that everything is matching perfectly together. So then another cool feature is that you can change while it's playing, you can change um, the effects. So this is pretty basic effect on a video. So this render really fast for sure. If I add a plexus or a trap cut or something like that, it will take a little a bit more time, but in general, everything goes much more faster. And that gives you the ability to do some really small and basic uh, change really, really fast. So this is brand new. And I really like this feature because I do this a lot. I'm, most of the time I'm rendering all my loops and big effects uh, during the night and then I just make some small uh, arrangement like just changing a bit the color, or changing some loops or stuff like that and that goes now much more faster. I see a billion dollars in your eyes. And that I, I will win a lot of time. Then another way really cool stuff uh, that can help you, for example, this is my runaway VG clip for Galantist. And I've made this version for Europe, for my Europe day uh, performance where I had to push some Europe elements in all my clips. So for example, here, when the beat goes on and everything goes crazy, I have this uh, loop who is taking the blue and yellow of the Europe flag and the stars. And yeah, for my final clip, I don't want this one, but I don't want to re-render all the stuff. So I just need to change that loop with uh, that other one I've made yesterday, this one. So now uh, to make it much more faster, I don't need to rework anything. I just import it, time stretch it to the right BPM. So here it's 128 and uh, then just place it right, like this. Read a part of it and then I'm directly sure and much more faster than before that uh, it works great, it's fit perfectly to music and it's in the right time. Oh. I can make some change live, so just need to so, and yeah, that's perfect. I did in less than one minute what take me 10 or 20 minutes before, and I'm sure that this works great and just need to export it. So thank you Adobe for doing that. That was uh, the brand new previous system. So the other big improvement of that new After Effects version is the face tracking. So this is a shot uh, I've recorded with my GoPro uh, when I was in Lyon. So as you see, I have the sound and everything and he can track just my face directly. So for that, I can add an ellipse around it to tell him, hey, look here, that's my face. And then just, yeah, like maybe start it here, go to the tracker. You have two new tracking though, face tracking. Uh, so outline only or detail feature, outline only. It's just gonna adjust the mask around my face. 
So um, don't worry, guys. He, do, he does the job really, really good. It's just that uh, some years ago, I had some hairs here. So he just told me, hey, Sniper, this is not a part of your face. He's right. But yeah, I just get old. Rip my hairs. But yeah, he does the job really great. So um, and really fast, actually, because this is full HD footage. And uh, so now he has this mask and he's just tracking my face. What I can do is maybe add UN saturation with a basic effect. Uh, go to effects. So this was a new feature last year that now you can apply uh, effects just to a mask. So now my UN saturation is applied to my mask one that it's following my face. And so I can change the color of my face. Look at this. How nice. So for example, if I want to make this video like Zyber comes back from the beach. Like that. And then I can just feather a little bit my mask. Maybe change the expansion. Like this. And now everything pretty much real time rendered. It's Zyper who comes back from the beach. And he does all that so fast and live. This is amazing. So um, the second one you can do. So let's do that mask. Delete the effect. Is uh, pretty much the same way you to do it. So just push a circle around the face. And track detail feature. And now After Effects will search in that mask my eyes, my mouth, my nose and everything. And so I can really easily uh, change some part or apply some effects like before and yeah you're gonna see so um he's finished he just tracked my face and now he knows exactly here in face track points where is my left eyes my right eyes my nose mouse and everything he also did the same thing with the mask than before so now for example i can import this red nose like this check for the position and where i pick up maybe like this to the nose to nose tip and now this red nose should normally yeah stay on my nose so um this looks like let's add again this UN saturation effect and just effects yeah like this so now you have Zyper uh, walking in Lyon with a clone And he's following. This looks so real. And then if you if you want to make it really crazy, you can change uh, the color of my face. So uh, make this mask to add. Oh yeah, I need to add this one to mask one. Oh. Yeah, I did it wrong. Yeah, I need to do it like that. I just installed it five minutes ago, guys. So yeah, for sure, uh, I've just tried this new stuff in the, and discovered them a little bit in the same time as you. So uh, mask, let's add a little bit of feather to it. And maybe make now my face blue. Can I do it white? Yeah. And now we have Zyper going to Carnival. Everything rendering live, and you have audio with it. Oh, yeah, I didn't track the first part. Works perfect. So this is how to enhance your video, even if it's full HD, really fast and pretty much in real time. So guys, and then there is one last thing I want to show you. It's that uh, you can already import your C4D files directly from Cinema 4D and they react much more better much more faster than before. So this is just some cubes falling down and you see it's rendering much more faster and much more better actually. And then it's here, it's pretty much real time and really smooth. You can also apply some effects maybe if I want to add a mirror or something like that. I can actually, uh, I don't use it so much for my personal work, but you need to know that this can work. You can uh, camera track the whole scene 
export the camera and all the marker to Cinema 40, add some 3D objects into it, import it into After Effects, and apply maybe a cube on the street or something flying in space in, in the sky or something like that. So uh, you can really create a real 3D space on just a video file and import lots of different stuff. So guys, this was my small overview on the new Adobe After Effects CC 2015. If you want to learn a little bit more how to use this software or something different, just go on Vision Start Affair and go to the visual tutorial section where you have lots of tips and tricks about how to use After Effects and how to create some VG loops and really cool effects with some basic stuff and yeah I think everybody can do that if you start with the one two three four five and everything and then you can go into VG tutorial and learn how to use that stuff into uh, maybe Resolume or I'm gonna work some other VG tutorials so um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact me on my social media I'm on Facebook at Zyperworld I'm on Twitter at Zyperworld and I'm also you can write me an email at contact at Zyper or simply go on Visions and contact me through the Vision contact page. So guys, uh, hope you liked it. Have some fun and see you next time for a brand new video.